Hello, my lovelies. We're going to start the day by looking at my car. I witnessed an accident on the interstate on December 21st and uploaded the videos on December 22nd. I thought I had escaped unscathed, but apparently some debris impacted my car. Before we go any further, I would like to say welcome to Cape Monty Country. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'd also like to apologize for the sound quality today because, well, I'm sick. My family's Christmas was canceled this year because my mother had COVID. The first day of my work week this week was Tuesday. Normally, I run my errands on Mondays. When you live in the country, even a simple run to Walmart is going to cost you an hour of time. So you have to plan very carefully. So Tuesday, I made a supply run to the closest Tandy Leather. I needed to pick up a hide, some fittings, and some dyes. While I was out, I did my weekly shopping, picked up cat food, and tried to fit everything into one day. On Wednesday, I began patterning a K-bar sheath. I created the pattern, dyed the pieces, and left them to dry overnight, assuming that I would come back on Thursday and finish them. Well, that didn't happen. Wednesday night, we received notice from two different stores that orders were ready. I had to go to Lowe's and to Tractor Supply. Things that Doc needs to run his Ford had been delivered. Since my car gets the better gas mileage, I'm the one who gets to run and pick them up. So, of course, my plans for Thursday went right out the window. Wednesday, I tried to call Lowe's and tell them, hey, I'll be there between 10 and 12 tomorrow to pick it up. But you know what? Their customer service bites big time. I called the pickup department twice, and both times somebody picked up the phone and hung it right back up. So I tried to call customer service. That phone rang over 30 times, and no one picked up. So finally, I called their corporate customer care number and told the lady what was going on, and she said, okay, let me try to make contact with the store. She tried for over 20 minutes and the store never picked up the phone so thursday came around i opened up my order i went to the lowe's website i checked in now it takes me 35 to 45 minutes to get to this particular lowe's i checked in before i left the house i drove all the way there and guess what they didn't have my order ready it was still in the back I had to stand there for 20 minutes before they found my order and brought it to me. So, even checking in on the app doesn't help. They should have had that together by the time I got there. Once I had everything I needed at Lowe's, I had to drive another, oh, about three miles to a tractor supply to pick up something else that Doc needs to run his forge. Then I came home. My plans were to come home and finish assembling the knife sheet. However, on my way home, I started feeling feverish. By the time I got home, I had a fever of 100.5. So I got back in my car and I drove to the local pharmacy and picked up a COVID test. Guess what? I tested positive for COVID. My family's Christmas was rescheduled to Saturday, but now I can't go because I have COVID. My fever topped out at 101.8 last night. Before it started coming down, it was 100.5 this morning when I woke up. As a home-based business owner, I don't get to take sick days. So even with the fever, I have to get some work done. So today I designed and ordered the business cards worked on the website, and did some end-of-year accounting. I don't know that I'll be able to cover the entire work week and have a video up by 6 p.m. on Friday, so my Friday videos are now being moved to Saturday. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Ring that subscribe bell. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what I did right. Tell me what I did wrong. And tell me what you'd like to see from this channel. Finally, please share this video with your friends and family. This channel is not 
possible without your support. So thank you so much for stopping by. And I will see you on Monday.